God's plan versus our plan. When we look at our lives, it's easy to become consumed by our own desires and ambitions. We often set our own paths, only to find that the journey is far more challenging than we anticipated. But today, I want to remind you that God's plan for your life is greater, more perfect, and far more fulfilling than anything you could ever imagine. When we speak of God's plan, we're talking about a divine blueprint that was crafted long before you were even born. Jeremiah 1 to 5 tells us, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. You see, God's plan is not a reaction to our lives, but a preordained path designed with divine wisdom and love. Many of us have experienced the frustration of pursuing our own plans. We've set goals, mapped out our futures, and worked tirelessly, only to encounter roadblocks and disappointments. This isn't to say that planning is wrong indeed. It is wise to be diligent and proactive. However, when our plans are not aligned with God's will, we often find ourselves struggling. Take a moment to consider this. How many times have you set your heart on something only to see it fall apart? Perhaps you pursued a career, a relationship, or a dream that ultimately left you feeling empty. The reason is that our plans are limited by our human understanding. Proverbs 19 verses 21 tells us, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. God's plan, on the other hand, is perfect. It takes into account not just your present circumstances, but your future potential. It's a plan designed to prosper you, to give you hope, and to bring you into a deeper relationship with Him when we submit to God's plan. We align ourselves with a purpose that transcends our own understanding. The Bible is full of examples of individuals who tried to pursue their own plans only to be redirected by God. Take Jonah, for instance. Jonah had his own ideas about where he wanted to go, but God had a different plan. Jonah's resistance led him into the belly of a great fish. But when he finally submitted to God's will, he found himself on a path that not only saved his life, but also brought salvation to an entire city. Or consider Moses, Moses had his own plans as a prince of Egypt, but God called him to something greater. Moses doubted his abilities and feared the unknown. Yet by following God's plan, he led an entire nation to freedom. God's plan for Moses was far greater than anything Moses could have imagined for himself. Even our Savior, Jesus Christ, demonstrated the ultimate submission to God's plan. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22, verses 42. Jesus submitted to the Father's plan, and through his obedience, he provided salvation for all of humanity. So, how do we align our plans with God's? First and foremost, we must seek Him in prayer. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God. It is in those quiet moments of prayer that we can hear His voice and feel His guidance. James 1 verses 5 encourages us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. We also need to immerse ourselves in God's Word the Bible is our roadmap, providing wisdom and direction for our lives. Psalm 119 verses 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. When we study Scripture, we begin to understand God's character and His desires for us. This understanding helps us to align our plans with His divine will. Another crucial step is to surround ourselves with godly counsel. Proverbs 15 verses 22 reminds us, Plans fail for lack of counsel, 
but with many advisors they succeed. Seek out mentors and friends who are rooted in their faith, who can offer wisdom and guidance as you navigate life's decisions. We must also learn to be patient and trust in God's timing. Isaiah 40, verses 31 assures us, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. God's timing is perfect, and even when it seems like nothing is happening, He is working behind the scenes, preparing us for the next step in His plan. Embracing God's plan requires faith. Hebrews 11, verses 1, tells us, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Faith means trusting in God's goodness and His perfect plan even when we cannot see the outcome. It means believing that He is working all things together for our good. Romans 8, verses 28 One of the most significant aspects of following. God's plan is understanding that it is. Often revealed to us one step at a time. God rarely shows us the entire path. Instead, He lights our way just enough for us to take the next step. This teaches us to rely on Him daily and to trust Him completely. Remember the story of Joseph. He had dreams of greatness. But his journey to fulfilling those dreams was filled with trials and tribulations. Sold into slavery by his brothers. Falsely accused and imprisoned. Joseph's life seemed to be a series of setbacks. Yet, through it all, he remained faithful to God in the end. Joseph rose to become a powerful leader in Egypt, saving many lives during a famine. God's plan for Joseph was far greater than the dreams he had as a young man. Now, I want to speak directly to those who feel lost, who feel like their plans have crumbled, and who are questioning their purpose. Know this, God's plan for you is still in motion. He has not forgotten you, and He has not finished with you. Your current situation is not the end of your story. It is merely a chapter in the grand narrative that God is writing for your life. Take heart and be encouraged. Trust in God's plan, even when it doesn't make sense. Surrender your own plans and desires and ask God to reveal His will to you. Allow Him to guide your steps and to lead you into the abundant life He has promised. And now... I call on you to take action. Make a commitment today to seek God's plan for your life. Spend time in prayer, asking for His guidance and wisdom. Dive into His Word, allowing it to illuminate your path. Surround yourself with godly counsel, and be patient as you trust in His timing. Have faith that He is working all things together for your good. Remember, God's plan for you is far greater than anything you could ever imagine. It is a plan filled with hope, purpose, and divine destiny. Embrace it, trust it, and watch as God leads you into a life of incredible blessing and fulfillment. If this message has touched your heart, share it with others. Let your testimony be a beacon of hope and encouragement to those around you. Together, let's walk in faith trusting in God's perfect plan for our lives. Keep the faith and be blessed.